Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're in the right place at the right time. Today is Sunday, and we're here to talk to you guys about what we got going on this week, and I'm so excited about our guests coming in this week. We have none other than Theo Huff. Theo Huff is an uh, uh, entertainer extraordinaire, and he is our guest coming in to hang out with us this week. And if you don't know about Theo Huff, you do not want to miss a minute of this show on Tuesday. That's right here live on Facebook and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I promise you, he's going to say something uh, about himself that you did not know about and his history of uh, in his journey into entertainment. Mr. Entertainment here in the Chicago land and across the country. We got him live here coming up on this Tuesday. So uh, this is not the show. This is just an invite and a promo to invite you guys to come hang out with us on the show this Tuesday. So I need to give a couple of shout outs. I always give shout outs every time I go live. Um, I want to give a shout out to all of the healthcare heroes, healthcare heroes that are on the front line, keeping our loved ones alive and well and patching them back up and sending them back to us. We need our healthcare heroes to be encouraged and lifted up. And that's exactly what I do each and every time that I go live. I like to encourage them. Uh, because they have a thankless job, and I want to let them know that I am thanking them and praying for them to keep them uplifted and encouraged. Uh, also, I uh, want to encourage everybody to keep wearing your mask. Don't stop. You know, even though they have said that, oh, yeah, you can go out into the world and, you know, don't have to wear a mask, don't get caught up. Wear your mask. Please wear your mask. Don't stop wearing your mask because there's still germs out there that can make you sorry, okay? That is the bottom line. You do not want to be sorry, okay? So keep wearing your mask, all right? Uh, also, by today being Sunday, I always like to shout out all of the pastors and our spiritual leaders that are on the front line. They have a thankless job as well. If you have a spiritual leader or someone that has been praying for your soul, uh, keeping you informed on what God is doing in this day and age and this time, keep on praying for them. Keep them lifted up. A special shout out to my mentor, Dr. Lord Michael Hunt, uh, who has been with me for a very long time. Dr. Hunt has been uh, praying for me and looking out for me for 30 plus years. And I have been doing the same for him. I pray for him every day and I look out for him as much as I can, and which is all the time. OK, so keep your leadership lifted up in prayer. Um, well, today being Sunday, you know, we like to do a black history moment. And I think we got a very interesting one today, uh, seeing as how this is uh, Women's History Month. Uh, I went and found a black history moment with a female in it. And uh, when I ran across this moment, I was like, wow, this is deep. I did not know this. Um, there was at one time, just one female Buffalo soldier. Now I'm going to take a pause for y'all to marinate on that for a minute. A female Buffalo soldier. Okay. Her name was uh, Kathy Williams was a female soldier who enlisted in the United States Army under the placebo or placebo name uh, William Cathy. She was the first African American woman to enlist and the only one who is documented as having served in the United States Army posing as a man. All right. When Congress passed an act authorizing the establishment of the first all-black unit of the military, later to become known as Buffalo Soldiers, K. 
Kathy Williams, a former slave, joined the army. At that time, women were not allowed to serve as soldiers, so Williams posed as a man, calling herself William Kathy. Williams, bo Williams was born into slavery in Independence, Missouri in 1842. She worked as a house slave for William Johnson, a wealthy planter in Jefferson City, Missouri, until his death. Shortly after the Civil War broke out, she was freed by Union soldiers and soon went to work for the Federal Army as a paid servant. While working in this capacity, she served Colonel Thomas Hart Benton while he was in Little Rock, Arkansas, as well as General Philip Sheridan and his staff. Experiencing military life firsthand, Sheridan brought her with her to Washington to serve as a cook and a laundry person. While traveling with them, she witnessed the, Shona, the Shenandoah Valley raids in Virginia and afterwards continued to travel with them to Iowa, St. Louis, Missouri, New Orleans, Louisiana, and Savannah, and Macomb, Georgia. So this was such an interesting article. Um, I'm going to post the comments about this article in the comments section so you can go read about it yourself. But this young lady was the first black Buffalo soldier, female, okay, to serve in the United States Army. So uh, I thought that was so interesting that when I ran across it, I'm sure you will as well. So I will share this in the chat so you can click on the comment in the chat and follow about this young lady and what she did. Uh, eventually, they found out she was a female, and eventually they, they discharged her, but she served well right alongside the other men that were soldiers in the United States Army. So um, that's my Black History moment for today. So please come and hang out with us on Tuesday. We're going to have a very fun-filled show. Uh, Mr. Entertainment himself, Mr. Theo Huff, will be hanging out with us. So tell somebody, come check us out. You do not want to miss any part of what's going on with this show coming up on this Tuesday. Tell a friend, tell everybody, do not miss this show. So uh, we're going to get out of here. Well, before we go, I want to leave this information for you guys. Please go over to my website, ASK dash dr dash ron dot com and uh, check out all of my advertisers support them uh, this is information where you can leave donations uh, thank all the people that have made donations up to this time we appreciate your support uh, please go to my youtube channel uh, subscribe like and share uh, you can find a direct link to it on the website as well so until Tuesday, you guys be safe and um, please wear your mask. Don't give up on the mask. Keep wearing your mask. Peace and love, y'all.